Let's go. I got that juice. juice. New AP. She got that juice. juice. I got your juicy entertainment news for Friday. Colin Kaepernick has announced a new book deal with Scholastic to publish a number of children's books. The first book it's going to drop April next year is called I Color Myself Different. And uh, Kaepernick says that the book was inspired by a moment in kindergarten when he was drawing his family. For his parents, he used the yellow crayon, and for himself, he used the brown crayon. And, uh, of course, you know, Kaepernick's adopted parents are white, and he said the story is deeply personal to me and inspired by real events in my life. Uh, he also said it, I hope that it honors the courage and bravery of young people everywhere by encouraging them to live with authenticity and purpose. I'm excited for Kaepernick Publishing to be collaborating with Scholastic on books with black and brown voices at the forefront. I hope that our books will inspire readers to walk through the world with confidence, strength, and truth in all they do. Um, speaking of books, Dictionary.com has added three 300 new words ranging from terms that were created as a result of COVID-19 as well as some basic slang words. Wait till you hear the slang words that made the dictionary. First of all, the uh, COVID-19 influenced uh, words that have been added, the word long COVID, which is a condition characterized by symptoms or health problems that linger or first appear after supposed recovery from an acute phase of COVID-19 infection. Also, the expression long hauler. I never heard that one before. That's a person who experiences symptoms or health problems that linger or first appear after supposed recovery from an associated acute illness or active infection. Um, a shift in cultural awareness, of course, during uh, the whole pandemic also has created a need to define terms such as cultural appropriation. The adoption, usually without acknowledgement, of cultural identity markers from subcultures or minority communities into mainstream culture by people with a relatively privileged status. Another addition was deplatforming, which means to prohibit a person or people from sharing their views in a public forum, especially by banning a user from posting on a social media website or application. Here's my fave, the slang words that have made the dictionary. Uh, snack. I never heard this one before. <laughs> a sexy and physically attractive person or a hottie. Um, zaddy. Now I know this one. An attractive man who is also stylish, charming, and self-confident. So now you can actually say zaddy and uh, you're actually speaking uh, from the dictionary. Um, and last but not least, the word yeet. Never heard this one before. An exclamation of enthusiasm, approval, triumph, pleasure, joy, etc. All of these words have now joined the dictionary on dictionary.com. Um, this is kind of scary. This happened when they were filming uh, a couple of months ago, but uh, the video has just come out. Jackass star Poopy, he got bit by a shark after a botch stunt for Shark Week. Um, they were filming in Bimini, and uh, he's one of Jackass's newest members. He's now a star after this. I mean, as scary as it was, but he's now made some headlines. He attempted to jump over a group of sharks while riding a paddleboard in Bimini, but he was unable to go fast enough. The guy who was driving the paddleboard um, didn't go fast enough, and he ended up falling in the water when he went over the ramp. There were at least 10 sharks in the water when he fell in. One of them grabbed him by his hand, bit him. He ended up suffering uh, artery and tendon damage. Um, and he, he said he thought he was dead because at least he thought six more sharks would attack him after the first one bit him. Because, you know, there was blood in the water. And of course, you know how those reef sharks are. They get excited real quick. He said it was the scariest thing of my life. Um, he couldn't say much. He was pretty much in shock. He had to be airlifted to Florida to have emergency surgery, obviously, because he was in Bimini. Um, and he is also the first person in the 30-year history of Shark Week to get bit on the show in literally the first 30 minutes of filming. And, of course, it had to happen here in the Bahamas, right? But, you know, most of the episodes of Shark Week are filmed here in the Bahamas because we have so many different species of shark. And uh, Shark Week has been airing all week on the Discovery Channel. Tonight, the Monster Sharks of Andrus Island air at 9 p.m., but I'm not quite sure. I don't think we get discover we don't get uh, the discovery that uh, shows that. So that's a big womp womp womp. Love Shark Week. Check it out. That is your juicy entertainment news for Friday. Locking in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here. Oh, on Monday. Today's Friday. Yeah, Monday for more of the juice right here on the all-new Kiss 96.